Hi, this is Liz. I've just come in and I've picked some of these flowers. Close up of flowers. Very pretty. I wonder if any of you actually know what they are. Well, it's called Elecampane or Inula Hellenium. It is also called Helen of the Fields. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, it's kind of a very special name uh, for a very special plant. Okay. What is it used for medicinally? Um, predominantly, it is um, a herb that you would choose to use for lung problems, um, but usually in combination with other herbs, yeah? Um, in, in this instance, I would use what well, depends on the case, but elecampane, lobelia, maybe capsicum, maybe some licorice, uh, marshmallow, mullein, coltsfoot. This sort of um, array of plants can be combined to make a very effective cough medicine. Um, and so what else does it do? You see it does a lot of things, it's a very clever plant. It contains around 40% of something called inulin, hence the Latin name inula. Yeah? Um, inulin is not insulin, that's a very different thing. Inulin is um, a sort of a fibrous pre <clears throat> prebiotic which is obviously really, really good for gut health. Now, you remember when we were talking about daisies, and, or maybe you don't, but uh, anyway. These flowers are yellow. Yellow would suggest, not in all cases, but a lot of cases, that um, these, these plants are very good for uh, liver, bile, digestion, and it is. Hey presto, it actually is. So let's say you were having digestive problems with, um, and, you, and you've just got a, a very nasty bronchitis on top of it. You could use alicampane because it would cover both areas. Now the other clever thing it does is it can help to regulate blood sugar in people who have diabetes. So really, for a very simple little plant that I've just picked out of the garden, I'll show you again, it's, it is so, so pretty. Um, it can do a huge amount of things, and I think its action supersedes echinacea, actually, in its um, antimicrobial um, properties. Um, that is just my opinion, but I think it does. And here, is some tincture of it that I've made. I mean, it's very boring because all um, all herbal tinctures, unfortunately, are a kind of yucky brown colour. Um, except myrrh, and that's one we'll come to at some point, very important herb. Myrrh is, uh, if you add water to it, it turns into a milky, vile tasting fluid. Okay. Uh, that's it for now, so there you know, you've got it at a campaign.